With the Super Bowl coming up this Sunday, many people are going to plan to place a wager on who they think will receive the Lombardi Trophy. Tonight, our state capitol correspondent, Brendan Scanlon, is joining us live from Harrisburg to tell us what happens, Brendan, to the wagers if you bet on the loser. Good evening, Eva. That's right. So since becoming legal in Pennsylvania, sports wagering popularity has skyrocketed, and so has the revenue being collected by the state. We have seen the wagering end go up significantly. In 2021, the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board reported over $4.7 billion in total gaming revenue, with $340 million stemming from sports wagering. About 90% of the wagers are now placed online. Doug Harbach is a communications director for the Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board. He says the total amount of sport, retail, and online wagers, which is called the handle, was over $6.5 billion in 2021, an 83% increase from 2020's handle. Harbach says there are two major reasons for the increase. One is that marketing becomes more keen by these operators and the people themselves who are participating are getting more comfortable with it. They know that these are legal sports sites, unlike the many illegal sports sites that are offshore. But where does all that money go? According to the Gaming Control Board, sports wagering revenue, which is the amount wagered minus the amount of payouts, is taxed at 36 percent. 34 percent of that goes to the Commonwealth's general fund and 2 percent is awarded to counties through a local share fund. But how big of a role does the Super Bowl play in that revenue stream? That's always the largest single event that's, wa that's wagered on. If you plan to wager on Sunday's game, make sure you do it responsibly and in moderation. There are uh, ways in which people who develop a problem with gambling can find help. And if you or a loved one does have a gambling problem, Harbach says there are plenty of resources and tools available. One of those tools even allows you to set limits on your time and on your spending on some of those wagering websites. But for more information and resources, visit our website, eriewsnow.com. For now, live inside the state capitol for Erie News Now, I'm Brendan Scanland. Eva, back to you.